here we go. I am finally recording that long-awaited browser comparison video that I keep going on about. The first time I tried to record this video, long story short, there were tech issues and I lost the whole thing. All 45 minutes-ish of video. I was very annoyed. I have found out, uh, I don't know what caused the error, but I found out that whatever error I had, I found out that that only happens when I try to record full screen. Don't know why. I used to be able to record full screen and it was fine. But I've got it set to window now instead, which means it's just recording this browser here that I've got open. It means that I can't show you all the lovely browsers I've got lined up on my taskbar, but you'll just have to trust me that they're there. I've got seven browsers to use for this comparison video. Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Internet Explorer, AOL, believe it or not, Opera and SeaMonkey. I know which ones are the main browsers that people use, um, so most people probably won't be interested in what kind of results you get from AOL or SeaMonkey, but I threw them in there for the fun of it. I was originally going to do 10 browsers, but um, I decided not to include uh, Ice Dragon or Komodo Dragon because they're based on Firefox and Chrome, so it would basically be the same as using those two. And um, Rock Melt was the other browser that I was going to use, another kind of niche wildcard browser. But I think that browser's actually gone out of business or is defunct or no longer exists or something. So there you are, seven browsers it is. <clears throat> I'm starting with Chrome because Chrome is the usual browser that I use for dueling. Some say it's the best, other people say it doesn't work so well for them. It works fine for me. Um, and no matter what this video finds, I will probably continue using Chrome to duel because it's my main browser anyway. Uh, but I thought it would just be a good thing to make a video that uses all the different browsers under the same conditions. So if anyone did want to have a hard comparison to look at, here it is. There you go. Also, because it is interesting to see what kinds of factors affect this new dueling system. The one thing that we do seem to have established about this system, and I've probably said this before, but it is inconsistent. It is so very inconsistent. It's affected by all manner of different factors, and no one seems to be able to get the same kind of scores using different equipment or different browsers or even the location. So... Um, some people who out there who are interested in the numbers behind these things might want to see you know the fluctuation that i get when i use different browsers just you know to add to their collection of data <clears throat> uh, so for for your information i am doing this experiment on a windows laptop uh running on high performance mode oh and i've closed every other program that's running in the background apart from Cam Studio. I know that's not really representative of how you, someone might normally duel, but I wanted to get the best possible results that I could get out of each browser. So there you have it. Let's go. One, three, one. 131 is, is kind of low for me. I should probably mention that my average in spells is about 133 to 138, 139 on a really good day, but I still can't get those very often. <clears throat> I'm going to do two spells per browser, and if one of them glitches and turns into a zero point draw, there you are, 134, that's a bit better. If one of them turns into those, one, those zero point draws that we're all so very familiar with, then I will not count that as one of the two spells. Sorry, River Quaffle, I'm busy. Right. Well, that concludes Chrome, I guess. Oh, and I, ah, that's the other thing I forgot to mention. I'm using keyboard. Don't think that really makes a difference because people can do well on whatever they're comfortable with. But just in case anyone really wanted to know, I'm a keyboard duelist. Next browser. Here we are again, and we're back with Firefox. You can tell I'm using a different browser, well, apart from the fact that Firefox is up there, because I haven't got my ad blocker getting rid of this annoying white bar at the top. Stupid Sony. Right, let's get on with it. Practice duel, here we go.
one three one. Firefox is normally like this for me, I have to say. It's the only other browser that I have already tried to do all of this on. Um, it's like my backup browser. So this kind of stuttery performance isn't really news to me. It doesn't affect the scores as much as it looks like it should. Uh, but it's still, there you go, 128. It's still not the kind of performance that I've come to expect from Chrome anyway. <clears throat> well, there you go. That was Firefox. Let's, uh, I'll be right back with Safari. Here we are again. Here's Safari. The Safari part of my original browser video was actually the reason why I really wish I could have kept that recording because well a while back when I was doing my tips video uh, which one was that I don't know my third or fourth video where I tried out different tips from people across Facebook Miss Tickle actually uh, gave a tip where she said to look for the squares when you do I had never seen those squares on Chrome or Firefox, but I found, actually, we'll see if it still happens, but when I tried out Safari on my first browser comparison video, I found the squares. There they are, yeah. See, isn't that amazing? Because you can actually get them, like, properly centered on the letters. I don't know why it's like that, because I spoke to Miss Tickle after I did the first browser comparison, and she said she uses a Mac, so obviously Safari, you know, Apple's browser, Mac, Apple's computer, and she probably uses Safari on her Mac. Um, yeah, for some reason, whatever it is with the graphics or whatever makes these squares appear. It's quite fascinating. It doesn't really help my scores, actually, because you saw I just got a 128 there, and the spells are a bit stuttery. But look at that. I've never seen anything like it. It's pretty obviously just appeared with the new system, and I couldn't guess as to why, because God knows... Oh, there you are, 134, that wasn't too bad. God knows what kind of new settings Podmore has powering this dueling system. But whatever it is, interacts with this browser in a way that makes those squares appear. You know what, I'm going to do this one more time, because if there ever was a browser that I would consider switching to, it's probably Safari, and it's totally because of this squares thing. I just think it's amazing because it makes it so much easier to see what you're doing with where the trail is going. 117. Okay, I'm going to call that a glitch because that was never a 117. You guys saw that, right? That wasn't a 117. That was pretty much the same as any other spell that I've done before. And Podmore just decided, nope, you're going to get a 117 for that. One three five. See, that's actually pretty good. The other thing that might be affecting my performance on different browsers is, well, some people have a theory that the timing of the spell changes every time you use a different computer or a different browser, or change, you know, something else. Or sometimes the rhythm just changes by itself. So it's quite possible that if I started to use one of these browsers habitually, <clears throat> I would get used to the new rhythm and be able to do better spells. So obviously my scores are going to be a bit lower when I'm dueling on a browser that I'm not used to. But damn, that squares thing is well worth knowing about actually. Whether or not you think it's important to get this, the trail centered, because you know, some people say it needs to be centered, some people say off center, uh, but that squares thing would definitely help you to figure out where you're aiming it. So I would recommend people try out Safari just to see if it helps them duel or not, especially if you're having a, a lot of difficulty and you're not particularly attached to your current browser. This might be a good change for you. Right, next up is Internet Explorer. Ah, uh, the legendary, the bad. <laughs> we'll see how it performs. We're back with Internet Explorer. It's probably 
uh, it's probably pretty obvious that I am not expecting good results from this browser. I've only ever heard bad things from it. <clears throat> so maybe this will be Internet Explorer's chance to prove me wrong about it. We'll see. I can't actually remember how it did on the last browser video, so this will be a surprise to me. Here we go. Loads nice, nice and fast. Trail moves slowly, but that's not a bad thing. Gives you more time to prepare your letter. Huh. Okay, another another 117. I'm going to consider that to be a glitch. Bad luck into next floor. Your first spell was a glitch. So I'll do two more spells after this, unless one of the other spells is a glitch. I'm having a bit of trouble scrolling here. In fact, it's not letting me click on anything currently. I don't think Internet Explorer likes my Cam Studio program. I had enough trouble trying to get it to record the right section of the screen. Okay, here we go. Come on. Come on. Yep, that's it. That spell. Well done. Let's go. One, two, eight. The circles seem like they decrease in size faster than I'm used to on other browsers. I think the same was true for Firefox and possibly Safari. <clears throat> right, this is my second spell for Internet Explorer. Come on. One, two, four. Yeah, noticeably lower, but I'm not going to blame that on Internet Explorer per se, because like I said, different rhythms, different browsers. And to be fair, it hasn't been as bad as what I was expecting. So well done, Internet Explorer. You've exceeded my expectations. You get an E. E for exceeds expectations. Of course, they weren't high, but still. Right. Next up, AOL. Pretty much the only reason that I picked this browser to be included in the video is for the sake of nostalgia. This was the main browser that I used to access the internet for, uh, let's think, pretty much from when I was 13 to about 16 or 17. I uh, can't remember when I got Firefox, but <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, the browser that I stuck with for far too long without realizing what a terrible reputation it had. Um, and I definitely got rid of it ASAP after I found that out, but I still have an AOL email address. Shame. Also, my mother still uses AOL and AOL email because getting her to update on technology is hard. But anyway, here is AOL. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that needs to be said about this. This is AOL 9.7, by the way. I think that's the latest version. I can't believe they brought out one in the couple of weeks since I first recorded this video. Okay, let me cast the spell, please. Come on, AOL, you know you want to. Oh, God, I'm getting a headache. <laughs> this is my AOL related headache. Oh, for, f for goodness sake. Ugh, okay. Uh, I'm going to have to stop this recording so you guys don't see me sign in. Back in a second. Take two with AOL. Let's see if I can actually cast a spell this time. My hopes are not high. <clears throat> oh, good. Very slowly loading letters, but at least they're here. Yep. One, two, seven. Okay, could be worse. I'm trying. Ah, uh, there we go. Yep. It's stuttery and reluctant, but it works. Yes, 
There we go. Hmm. I swear the spell is loaded. Uh, I swear the spell is slower this time. Maybe I'm just imagining things. One, two, one. God, that's terrible. It's improved on its performance in the last dueling video, though. In the last dueling video, it took about half an hour to load the spells and then crashed after the first one, so I exited in disgrace. But luckily, AOL has a second chance to prove itself, and it has proved itself uh, poor. I would give that a P for poor. Still, it wasn't like I was expecting much better. Next up is Opera. And we're back. This is Opera. Before I recorded the first version of this dual video, I'd never tried out Opera. I've tried out every other browser on this list, apart from Opera and SeaMonkey, at some point in using the internet, but I'd never used Opera. I was really curious about it, so I had high hopes for the browser uh, in this video, and then in the last video I tried to do, it performed absolutely terribly, and it looks like the same thing is about to happen again because for some reason Opera just can't load the spells on Pottermore. I don't know if there's anyone out there, uh, any Puff or Griff or Claw or Snake who uses Opera to duel with, but I can't get it to work for me. I, I was hoping that it might be able to perform a bit better this time, uh, but it doesn't look like it. I don't know whether I need to disable flash to get it to work. That was the other thing. I've been doing all of my uh, all of my browsers with flash enabled because it was too much trouble to look up how to disable flash on them. But maybe this one is worth worth finding out about because you know if it turns out that you can only use Opera to duel without Flash, and that's something that's worth knowing. So here we go. Flash, enable, disable. Okay, control F12. Preferences. Where's preferences? This is ridiculous. Okay, let's try this. Opera config. Use a pref section. There isn't one. What am I looking for? I don't get it. Okay, let's try that. What? Don't tell me they don't have it. It's not loading. And I don't know how to disable flash because none of these help things are bringing up the set of the settings that I need. I am at a loss. I know I said it would be useful to know this, but I am beginning to think that it's not worth my time. I might figure it out later, or some other intrepid person can figure out how to do this and let me know if it works. Sorry, Opera, you've had two chances and you failed. T. Time for the last browser on our list, which is SeaMonkey. I don't know much about SeaMonkey. Uh, I've I think it uses some Mozilla open source coding, uh, which might make it similar to Firefox in that respect, but it certainly looks and feels quite different. <clears throat> Last time I did this video, I had to disable a really annoying intuitive search thing, where it, every time you type a letter, it tries to search it. I think I've disabled that. We'll see. 
yeah because last time I couldn't actually deal with the keyboard because it kept interpreting my typing as a search which was annoying but I've turned that off so there you go Ooh, 130 that's not bad considering I wasn't really paying attention to the spell right next up with sea monkey One three one, lower than what I'm expecting to get on Chrome, but certainly not bad. I reckon I could probably make Sea Monkey work for me if I wanted to, which I don't particularly. But I, like I said, it was never my plan to switch browsers. I just wanted to mess around with them. So there you have it. That's our seventh browser. It feels weird to finish the video now. I feel like there should have been something more interesting in it. But I hope it will be worth people watching it anyway. I have some grand plan to do a hardware comparison video where I'm going to assemble as many laptops as I can between myself and possibly my boyfriend's collection because he's got a few and I'm just going to do them all regardless of what they are. They will all be Windows because neither of us are Mac users but uh, yeah I don't know I just thought it would be fun to see the difference in results.